Hi guys, welcome to Crochet Rosetti. My name is Tracy and I love to play with fibers a lot and other things. Like I like painting, I like, I like it all. I like to challenge myself. So today we're gonna to talk about um, needle felting, um, which I discovered about a year and a half ago. Um, but first I'd like to welcome any new members and a uh, little info. I have a private group on Facebook called Crochet Rosetti. I have a um, Instagram as Crochet Rosetti and Pinterest as Crochet Rosetti. Um, I also do have an Etsy shop, but I'm not gonna link that in right now because it's empty. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with it. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So I found a channel called Liv Living Felt um, on YouTube and I was watching them and I love their um, Wooly Wednesday show that they do. It's a whole lot of fun. Um, also, there's a Serafina Felting, and she's an amazing artist um, and fiber artist. <clears throat> and she also has a YouTube channel. Excuse the ums. I have allergies. Not as bad as it used to be. Remember how bad I used to cough? We'll talk about that later, but huge diet change helped that. So, let's start with the wool what it looks like. Um, you can get it in raw form, which I'm just have to show you. It's just like, um, it's fluff. It's so soft and so fun to play with. <laughs> and I got this off of Amazon from Assorted Hill Ends, and I got this about a year ago because <clears throat> I still didn't know what I needed or what I was gonna do as far as um, a fiber artist, what I wanted to make with the wool. So I did get this, and this is something that I'm probably gonna use for dryer balls, which is something else that I learned how to make on YouTube, and it is amazing. No more dryer sheets. Um, you just throw three or four good size <clears throat> wool balls in the dryer with your clothes. They come out soft, not static. It's great. Um, these are some little packets that I got from Live and Felt, and they come in these little bundles here. Um, I have a ton of wool now, and um, one of my yarny friends, um, she's part of my private group, a friend on Facebook, and she's a member here. She gifted me um, <clears throat> a whole bunch of um, fibers, which was awesome. And uh, I did make some stuff with that. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, needle felting is a lot of fun. It's very mesmerizing. It's when you're taking a I have my little tool chest here. I keep all of my tools in this little bucket here. Um, you get some more stuff down there, my wet felting stuff and actually some needle punching stuff. Now, when I first decided to start to try needle felting, I just bought a cheap kit off of Amazon until I knew if I liked it or not. And then I went to these other companies um, when I was more educated on what I needed and started buying supplies through them. Um, Living Felt has a great um, supply shop, um, livingfelt.com. She has everything you need to get started. Um, so does Serafina um, Fine Arts, she does too. So I've purchased from both those companies um, recently. But you have all these, these little needle tools, like this one here has a bunch of little pins in it. This is for like bigger spaces that you'd be needle felting. And then this you'd use for like smaller areas or more fine detail. Um, they have these combs that you can use. I mean, brushes. I mean, it's, it's a the amount of stuff that you can get. I also have one of these little pokey things, which looks very dangerous, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff. I also ordered some, um, I'll show you what a single pin looks like before it's in the device. It looks like this, and they have barbs on the end, which helps to intertwine the fibers to make them become a solid, whether it be a fabric or um, a um, little creature or something. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that is some of the things that I have to work with 
with this. You also need a, um, a needle felting foam or mat. Um, you can find those on Amazon. Um, again, Living Felt, Serafina um, Fine Arts. She also has those supplies for you too. I believe Living Felt has a whole beginner kit. Um, same as Serafina, if you wanted to check them out online. Um, yeah, so some of the things that I've done with it is, and I've done more, I don't have everything here because some was gifted, some put, is put away, but uh, these are some of the things that I was showing um, on my Instagram, in my YouTube, I mean, not YouTube, <laughs> Facebook, this is YouTube. But what I did is I took like a, a wooden um, disc and I had some silk flowers in my craft supplies. And instead of felting a hat, I knitted them a little gnome hat. <clears throat> but isn't it cute? So all you're doing is you're, I made a bullet shape and I needle felt it till it became, I mean, it's solid. Um, you can cover it with colors. You can start off with like a cream, build your mold, then cover it with the colors. Um, the beard is just a fluff and I just, needle felted it in um, to get the stick. And yeah, I love them. And these are little glass eyeballs. I do use a little dollop of glue. I take a dowel, not a dowel, an awl. And I carve a hole in, I put a little bit of glue in and then I stick the glass eye in. <clears throat> so that's one of my little gnomes that I did. And this is another one. Um, same thing, this time I blended colors together to give them a, li <clears throat> a little more something pizzazzy. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> it's like a thick sheet of green outside with pollen. So yeah, there's all different fun things. You can get silks and they have these little um, twirly cues called locks. So you can do like all kinds of fabulous things with um, this fun project, this, this, this medium of art, fiber arts, it's awesome. Um, another thing that I've done is, I'll show you these two first. I did a, a little cherry blossom and this is 2D art. So this is with uh, wool and I just use the fibers as like I would a paintbrush or a pencil and I pin them in um, I you're getting a really good glare there. I don't need to, sorry guys. But uh, yeah, and that was a lot of fun to do. And it just kind of took it to another level of fun. I mean, things that you can do with wool. Wool is such an amazing tool. It really is. I also did this one, which is my favorite. This one's hanging up in my living room. I really enjoyed myself doing this one, same thing. You use your wool as your pencil, your paintbrush. You go in and you place the wool where you want it and you poke, 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 poke. And there is nothing more therapeutic after a long stressful day than poking wool. <laughs> Believe it or not, it sounds very tedious. And some might think that it is, <clears throat> but it is so fulfilling. <laughs> but then again, I find everything that has to do with fiber in art itself to be fulfilling. So this is another piece that I did. And I actually went in and I did some shading with some different colors. Um, again, this nose here is 2D along with the beard. Um, actually, those will probably be considered 3D and the rest is 2D. But yeah, it was a lot of fun practicing different techniques. And uh, I really, this I love a lot. And, I kind of want to make it into a pillow, I think. I wasn't sure what to do with it because when I started this, I hadn't really done much 2D or 3D um, art stuff. And I love gnomes. You guys all know I love gnomes. So any way I can find to make a gnome, I'm going to make a gnome. <laughs> so that's what I did. And uh, <clears throat> I haven't been able to figure out what to do with it yet. But now that I'm looking at it, it would make a really cute pillow. Um, I just love it. I, loved, I love fiber itself. I mean, it's a great way to use something and not waste it. Now, for my epic fail. I am um, Serafina Felting. I bought a kit for a wet felted fox. It didn't come out bad for my first wet felting project, but I didn't make the fabric thick enough. 
So what I think I'm gonna need to do is take a canvas and paint a dark background and attach it to a canvas. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see what I'm talking about, but this is my fox and this is all wet, wet felted and then I needle felted on top. Um, let's see if I can't get in a little closer. You get some little locks down there. You get his tail, some more locks and you know, make it look like um, debris outdoors and then my fox, which again, it didn't come out perfect, but it was my first attempt. Um, I did have fun doing it. Um, but yeah, that's probably gonna have to go. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. If you look close, you can see the shading. So you, it, eh, next time will be better. <laughs> so that was a kit, but it's, it's a piece of fabric. And the wet felting pro process, what do I think about wet felting? It's awesome if, you know, you have the muscle strength to do that, which I haven't had lately. But uh, it takes a lot on your arms. I mean, you're a hundred times in each direction, flipping over, another hundred times rolling this thing over, trying to connect those fibers together. <clears throat> so, I, I mean, it was fun and I'll do it again. I just build up my strength first. It's a good way to exercise, good aerobic activity. And this is a kit that I got from um, Living Felt, which I've had now for maybe a month and I have not had a chance to work on it, but it's needle felt mushrooms. You can make colorful pins, magnets, or decor, and they give you enough to make up to four pairs. So they, and it comes with everything you need to make four. And that's my needle felting stuff. I, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, I just figured I would share that with you in case anybody wants to try. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask in the comments down below. I'm gonna link those two channels um, so that you can visit their, um, their pages, their YouTube channels. <clears throat> Again, this is something that I've played with. I am not a professional needle felter by all means. I'm having fun with it and I'm having fun with it because of those two channels. Um, so uh, it's just something to break up the monotony. This is a crochet knit and fiber channel, but this is the first time I think I've shown anything needle felt. So <laughs> I will try to link them down below. Again, thank you all for stopping by and watching. Um, it's nice to be back. Um, me and my husband have started a new diet. Um, we've had some issues with um, high blood pressure. <clears throat> cholesterol and sugar levels um, in, at a very, <clears throat> very dangerous number. Um, hypertension, severe numbers, 170 over one something. Um, so I <clears throat> am on blood pressure medication right now, two of them, along with other stuff, you know, because I'm getting old, 52. They say once you hit 50, everything happens, right? So it is. So I'm feeling much better. I have much more energy. It's been about <clears throat> four months, five months since I started the medication. When I started the medication, it wasn't working. Um, I was, I had to go on a second medication. They had me on what was called a DASH diet. <clears throat> I didn't find that the diet was working for me. Um, so I did some research and found that eating vegan for me is working doesn't work for everybody. But right now my levels, my blood pressure levels is down to what a teenager blood pressure level would be. So it's working for me, so I'm gonna stick with it. My husband's doing it out of support for me. I don't expect that he's gonna last, to be honest with you. If he does, that's great, he looks awesome. We've both lost over 20 pounds a piece. Um, so we're seeing a lot of differences. Our skin is softer. All of my um, autoimmune issues that I had, I am not noticing anything right now. Um, no eczema, no rashes, um, just internal pain and 
My shoulders are awesome. They feel great. I can move them. So the diet's working for me and I'm not promoting the diet because it's not for everybody. It's something you'd want to talk to your doctor about first before you practice it. But for me, it's working and it's a new lifestyle change for me. And I just wanted to let you know, in case there's anybody going through the same things that I've been going through, I'm letting you know that that worked for me. And maybe you could talk to your doctor and maybe it will work for you too. Not promoting it. It's just, it's something that works for me. I was never a huge meat eater anyway. And I found that dairy is my enemy. I cannot eat dairy. And that broke my heart because I love my dairy. But I have found a lot of substitutions like, uh, <clears throat> for instance, a cheese sauce that I make out of potatoes, carrots, nutritional yeast, and almond milk. And it tastes awesome. So I don't miss the dairy as much as I thought I was gonna. So if you're worried about that too, there's ways around that, trust me. <laughs> so I thought I'd share that little bit tidbit too because we're only 15 minutes in and I just thought I would share what I've been up to. This is why I have not done a video. I have been making stuff, but again, we're focusing on getting healthy. Um, and again, I feel so much better. Like I really think um, back in my A game. So there'll be more videos coming. So thanks for listening to my shenanigans <laughs> and I hope everybody has a great day um like um you subscribe if you want to um I'd love that um and go join my Facebook group um and share all your makes I don't care if it's sewing if it's needle felting if it's drawing art anything creative just go share it share the love share the creativity because it brings everybody happiness and it makes my heart happy so have a great day, everybody. I'll see you soon.